Next question is from Mo Strength Gains. What are the benefits of elevating the heels in a squat? Is it ever preferential versus working on ankle mobility? Yeah, there's two reasons why someone will elevate their heels. One is because their ankle mobility prevents them from doing a good full squat. And so they remedy the problem, or should I say put a bandaid on the problem by elevating their heels a little bit. So squat shoes will do this a little bit. Uh, or you'll see people will put, back in the day, they used to use like a two by four, they would put under their heels. So that's one reason. The other reason is you may have great ankle mobility. You may not have an issue squatting with a full squat with good control and that stuff, but you still may want to elevate your heels sometimes because doing so places more emphasis on the quads. You can actually take an exercise like a squat. I love to do this. And elevate your heels. And now, because of the way that it, it, it changes your, your center of gravity, it keeps you more upright, you're going to get more knee extension, right? And you'll get more quad focus. Um, and yeah, I, I do this spe sometimes specifically for that because I want to feel it more in my quads. Well, I mean, that's how I do it now. I mean, if, that, if you see my heels elevated, the intent is that I just want to put more <sighs> emphasis on the quads and just get like a, a massive quad pump from it. It's not a bad strategy when teaching a client to when, who you know they lack the ankle mobility, but you want to teach them good depth and range of motion oh, on yeah. the squat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I used to do it for that, right? So if I had a client who has had limiting ankle mobility, but I wanted them to get all the way down in a deep squat and practice that full range of motion, I'd get them there. And then I would explain why I have your heels elevated and why you're able to get down. Like the reason why we can't get all the way down mm -hmm. without me doing this is because you lack the ankle mobility. So the goal is for us to get to a place where we could do that. So, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a tool. It's another tool that you can yeah. use in the gym and there's, there's value to it. I think the thing that you just got to be careful of is I, I there was a trend for a, a, a quite a while there where uh, people were doing that because it was the only way they could squat. They yeah. couldn't. They couldn't mm -hmm. squat past ninety degrees without elevating their heels, and so they would they would elevate the heels just so they could get down. And I think there's nothing wrong with that so long as you're using it as a tool and not a crutch. Yeah, I like to do the same and just use that as a reveal uh, to show that they can actually achieve that depth. And then from there, it's it's work on, alongside that in terms of uh, being able to address the ankle mobility and then start scaling down uh, the height, uh, you know, of that platform. Um, and so, you know, I've used that as a tool as well to kind of, uh, you know, gradually progress them down towards full range of motion. Yeah, a, a few of my favorite <clears throat> heel ed elevated quad exercises are front squats with the heels elevated goblet squats that one adam showed me um with mm -hmm. heels elevated which was man i got a crazy pump that's a great one from doing that and then safety bar squats because the safety bar is obviously so much higher so it already encourages you have more kind of an upright posture and then i'll elevate my heels and man i tell you i get such a great quad pump in fact for people who have an imbalance or let's say they want to work on their aesthetics and their quads just aren't developing. This is a little bit more rare, but sometimes people they'll, they'll do squats and stuff and their butt will grow, but their quads don't really respond. Um, try doing a lot of these squat movements with your heels elevated. You would be it, it completely, in my opinion, it completely changes the feel of the exercise oh, yeah. and really gets it, you know, squarely on the quads. As far as the ankle mobility is concerned, you know, the goal should be to achieve, a, be able to achieve a good squat with your feet not needing or your ankles not needing a crutch uh, with, you know, your heels being elevated because that's your most natural position, right, is to be barefoot. So you want to be able to do it barefoot without having to elevate your heels. So if, you're, if you need to elevate your heels, then you should definitely spend some time working on ankle mobility because you'd be better off being able to do it without having your heels elevated. And then you elevate your heels if you just want to change the exercise.